I guess her brother uh, wrote, he'll be 15 by then. Just a little bit of, of humor there, right? Uh, Jim says, I'm going to Disney. I hope that trip's still on. Jim, I know it's planned for May. And Ashley says, I hope back to work, but definitely uh, for the social aspect, I am going out for a drink. So there's some of the things that we're missing, some of the things we can't wait to get back to. Which kind of leads me a little bit right into today's blog post, which is all about authentic happiness. There is a quote that I put up by a Greek philosopher, Roman philosopher, Epictetus. I don't know. His name's on the quote. <laughs> I'm not good with this stuff. Uh, but he says, authentic happiness is always independent of external conditions. What does that mean? That means what's going on right now. If you were happy before all this craziness set in, you should still be, you know, down to your core happy now. Yes, can you be frustrated? Of course. Yes, can you want to get out of the house? Of course. Do you want to get away from the kids for 10 minutes? Yes, that's okay. But the difference between happy and authentically happy what is the difference? Well, this is how I see it, and it's kind of taken me a long time to figure this out. But when I was in my early 30s, that's when I first moved to Long Beach Island full-time. I got into a great group of friends. I was a literal social butterfly, always out somewhere. If I wasn't out, I was hanging out at neighbors or a friend's house. I was rarely home, always on the go. I have often referred to this as the most fun I've ever had, and it was. But I was also still single, and I had an urgent desire to get married. I thought it was what I needed to achieve true happiness. Now, I am married now and truly happy, but not because of my idea that I needed to be married. That is another topic for another time. Uh, I was running a place on the island. It was a great spot right on the bay. Crappy little place, but the rent was cheap. I had no dreams of owning my own place at the time because, again, I had an idea that I would need to be married in order to get to such a lofty goal. Wrong again, I was. Now, I was putting a lot of my long-term happiness on hold. I was waiting, waiting, waiting for a lot of things to happen before I thought I could be truly happy. Uh, like the quote above states, a lot of my happiness came from external factors. If I was out with my friends over a friend's house doing some sort of activity, if I had needed to quarantine at that time, I'm sure my happiness would have taken a nosedive because I wouldn't have been able to do all of the things that were making me happy. Cut to now, I realize all those other things aren't necessary for me to feel true, authentic happiness. I still like to do those things. I'm still very social. Love seeing my girls and getting together with couple friends. I'm big on getting together for some coffee, having lunch out, a happy hour gathering. But it's not what makes me happy. It only enhances it. So what is it that makes me truly happy now? Well, I am very blessed to have found a wonderful man to spend my life with. The fact that we are on the same page with where we want our lives to go is a big part. Also, the fact that we can be goofy together and have fun anytime, that is a huge plus. The work that I do now, talking to all of you every day, fills me with a sense of purpose. I love sharing with others how I became a happier person, and I truly want to help you and others do the same. We also live in a house, an area we love. I think that is such a big part of authentic happiness. Life is so much better when you come home to a place you love to be. Now, life really hasn't changed that much for me since this quarantine uh, started. I've been Working from home for the past year or so, it's not really affecting my work. I mean, a little on the large, grand scale of things, but not much on a day-to-day -day basis. Even though your home and location is probably considered an external factor, I still think I'm more authentically happy living here than I would be if we were still in our condo in Pennsylvania. Keep in mind, we made a lot of sacrifices to live here. We still are. My husband is a three-hour round-trip commute every day, along with sometimes up to 12-hour shifts. 
we had to cut way back on our monthly bills to afford this house. We knew we would be house poor, but we love our house and we're okay with being stuck in it. It comes down to know what it is that really lights you up. Is it location? The work you do? The amount of time you spend with your family? Is it a sense of purpose? All these things should be independent of what is going on right now. So now is the perfect time to take stock of where you are with your happiness. I know we all would rather go out when we choose, grab a bite, see a friend, go to a movie, a number of other things we're used to doing. But are you satisfied with where you are right now? If you have to stay put for another month, will you be okay? Or is the thought making you bonkers? Don't misunderstand me. I know this is a tough time. But what is the most important things in the world to you? What are the most important things? Are you still surrounded by those things? We know now more than ever our health Our family and our family's health are the most important things. Are you and your family healthy and safe? Are you together? Cherish this time. So many people you heard mention they can't wait to see their kids, see their parents, see their grandkids. Yes, it is okay to lock yourself in the bathroom for 15 minutes when everyone is driving you crazy. But you know deep down that you wouldn't want it any other way. What do you feel you're missing the most right now? Be specific. Lasagna. That's, for, that's what I'm missing. Those are things that are important to you. I mean, I was kind of kidding with the lasagna thing, but you get what I mean. You now know to include more of whatever it is that you're missing so much into your life when you can. Now that you're spending so much time with yourself, What are some of the things you thought brought you happiness, but you're realizing it's not really what you thought it was? Make some adjustments when you can. It's time to test out some new hobbies. Try out as many things as you can. You never know what your next great love will be. This is the time to discover it. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. So it is hump day. Just marking time here. Hello, here, hump day. Do me a favor. Take some time to strip it all down. What is it that makes you truly happy? Is it happening? Do you know what it will take to make that happen? Get to work. It's going to take a little internal work. And now... Go try to make today your best day yet. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Hopefulist.